Welcome, Welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, Welcome. Welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here in the Backyard Diner. Especially when it's trying to keep me from laughing because low energy guy. <laughs> sitting here doing nothing and then was ready to film and boom, boom! he was ready to go. That I was... can turn it on and off just like that. <laughs> it really made me laugh, that was good. <laughs> but I, we are excited for yes, this one I because totally, totally excited. as we've done many times, we are tossing down a fried rice. This one we have not yet done steak fried We've rice. not done steak by itself. We've right. done it in the full hibachi tap Yaki cook. We've done steak by itself. We've not done steak fried Fred, rice. Okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, I was like, you steak okay, like yeah. <laughs> steak fried rice we haven't done, but we also wanted to highlight a fried rice cook on the new Pit Boss Sierra. Sierra. Yes. And we are super excited to do that because this thing's been awesome so far. We've been super impressed. And we, we're learning a few things along the way, so we want to continue to show what we're learning as we learn and grow with this new griddle. Correct, as a griddle, the required cook. Smash burger done, yeah. breakfast done, <laughs> bacon done, and now <laughs> we got fried, fried rice. rice. <laughs> stir fry, whatever you want to call it, here we are. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because some people do call it stir fry. So Brett, go ahead and get to the grocery so people see exactly what we're putting in this one. So here we go, star of the show, steak. And we got this uh, day old rice. We cooked it last night, jasmine rice. We put it in the fridge. And then we are using these mixed vegetables, some onions, sesame seeds for the top, and three eggs because we have three cups of rice and the sauce. We'll go with Mr. Yoshida's. Mr. Today. Yoshida's. I'm gonna call it taste for taste as well. And I'm willing to bet we will forget to put the sesame seeds in this one. <laughs> we, we always forget, always forget the, sesame the sesame seeds. seeds. You know what? Not pictured sesame oil. Yes, you're, we'll use it for the rice. Good. And and I, I just mentioned that because we've gone with and without, and you're right. For this one with the steak, I think it will give it an extra nutty flavor. Really, yes. really enhance and, the flavor. And again, it will just be in the rice. We won't really put it on the steak. Right. But when it is incorporated, that's what I'm saying. Rice, yes. Yes. Okay, the, gotcha. the overall, and, and we'll want to cook this the steak up. We're going to give it a good dose of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, that's it. That's it for that. And then we will th throw some of these Mr. Yoshida's in the vegetables with the steak. And you'll see the process that we do. Now we are using three cups of rice, a little bit less than normal. We're usually using four cups, but we just thought, you know what? Let's let's uh, handle this one a little bit more. We're going to do zone cooking. We're learning the hot zones and the cold zones on the on the griddle. Where we typically cook the rice is a little bit hotter, so we're going to cook that at low. Correct. We're going to go ahead and get to the process. We're going to show you how we do it here on the griddle. All right. So the griddle is about two, a little over 200 degrees, 250 degrees actually to be exact. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to warm up. Brett's going to toss a little bit of oil down. Now you might be wondering obviously with the non-stick why we're put, putting oil well we're gonna fry we'll this rice rice before you need oil so get that going are you ready yeah go ahead so satisfying mm -hmm. watch it just roll down all right so we get the rice going the first thing to go is the rice this will take the longest to fry up and cook up mm -hmm. And then from that, we'll start getting the veggies, the onions, and uh, the steak will be last because it will be the quickest to cook, even though steak typically takes a little bit longer to cook. So right now, we've got this burner on low. We found this cooks really hot, so we wanna monitor that, so we're leaving that on low. This one also on low, we wanna really contain and control this. This one's up just a little bit, about just below medium. So medium low on this side. The whole intent really is to control the temperature, control the cook. If we need to, we can bring the heat back up. It's a little bit harder to try to control the cook by bringing it back down after the fact. So we're gonna get this going and let's see how this works. A little salt. A little pep. <laughs> Sometimes we do use ginger as well. Today we are just gonna be using garlic paste. So I'm gonna pour this a little bit on the side and then Brett will incorporate this. You want a good, at least teaspoon. Yeah, tablespoon, whatever. Now, people always ask us, how long does the rice cook for? Oh yes, and I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. we have had people reach out saying that they, they put it in the fridge, they took it out, put it on for a couple minutes like we do. You gotta remember we are fast forwarding through these videos, so this rice will actually be closer to maybe 10, and even 15, 10, minutes, even 15 depending. minutes, because this is a lower heat that we're cooking on right now, but we are frying this rice. And so, um, yeah, so you wanna make sure you're gonna get good and cooked. There you go. And it, it will, even some of the pieces will be crunchy because it's, well, it's fried rice, so. Right, and now, so I am going ahead and getting the vegetables going here. I did put a little bit of oil, same thing. We wanna fry these up and get these nice and cooking well. In fact, let's get the onions here also going. I don't need all those onions. We got a lot of onions there. There we go. All right, so we're gonna just fry these up, let these sit here for a minute, start cooking. And then once these start going, we'll get the eggs going and the steak, and then we'll be getting, we're, we're rocking and rolling, man. Yes, we are. Love doing these cooks on the, on the griddle. 
All right, so we're getting ready to cook the eggs and get them here in the rice. I'm gonna make a little space here. I cook them right here in front of me, Adam. Okay. So we're gonna get our eggs going in here. A little salt and pepper on those. Mm -hmm. a little, a little sal. salt. A little pepper. Brett and I obviously love cooking together. This is something we've done. Now, I've done this uh, fried rice by myself. We just like being able to do it side by side, but it is a process. So typically we start with the rice, then we go to the vegetables. Once those, once those start to go underway, then we will toss the egg in, and then we kind of monitor. Now, my onions are starting to get a little transparent. That's telling me this is cooking well. That is just about looking good, Brett. Get a little bit fried Yoshida's. up. So I'm at this point, yeah, we're gonna add some of the Mr. Yoshida's and we'll get the steak going, and uh, we'll start wrapping up this cook. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to kill this side right here. Give it a good amount. Oh, the smell. Oh, you know what? We don't have it either yet. What? Sesame oil. Yeah, one thing that uh, I like to do before we put in the sauce is the uh, sesame oil, but better late than never. So here we go. We've only got about a teaspoon left here, if that. All right, so it's time to put the steak down. So again, same thing, I'm just using a little bit of oil, less for non-steak, more just to kind of help cook and fry this up. So this has been on now, Brett, for a little bit. You ready to see a little bit of sear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so Brett, I'm gonna turn off this burner. Yep. Get this, the vegetables are done. In so, fact, should we introduce the vegetables into? Yep, rice, this is vegetables. Vegetables, this is rice. You guys are family now. Let's get some Mr. Yoshida's in here. All right, here we go. Time to incorporate it all in together. Oh, it smells so good. And the ultimate last step after we get this mixed. And the one thing we thought we were gonna forget and we didn't. Sesame seed. Well, there it is in all its glory. I think I, that's my new line. Every time I say, there it is in, in all its glory, because it's all it is. It yes. is, it's, this, it's still hot. It is this very, bowl it, is still it, hot. The bowl is hot. I think we'll be able to handle a bite. I guess we're gonna find out, unless we're gonna do the. <laughs> <laughs> we take you know? our bite. Right. 
<laughs> you know, now my thing is, is I always, you know, I was curious to see how the, the nonstick ceramic would handle that. Uh -huh. It seemed to fry the exact same as it, as it would it was, before, right? It was Every really other... good. The eggs, obviously no sticking, the rice, no sticking. So, right. yeah, just another test that we have put this uh, Sierra through and it's, uh, well, it's passed. Well, well we got to we'll, see. We'll find out with the taste, right. but the cook wise, it seemed okay. Right. Like we say, it can look amazing. This looks amazing. Right. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for naught. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My, my brother. brother. <laughs> so while he's busy. Mm -mm. It's hot. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Nailed the fried rice. So that box. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And here's just crazy. With a sesame seed and a little bit of crisp on some of that rice. You want some? Oh my gosh. That's as, as satisfying as you get. The steak mm -hmm. is cooked to perfection. The Mr. Yoshida's, good call on that. I wanted to go regular soy sauce or sweet soy sauce. Adam called the Audible. Great game time decision. Mm. And this thing eats. Oh my gosh, does it eat. We'll post our recipe and cook for this video down below mm -hmm. in the description. So if you're looking and want to learn how to do this or see how we do it, you can check that out. Well, fried rice is one of our favorite things to make because it feeds everybody. We've got a bunch more that will feed the rest of the family. These kids are sitting here with their bowls. We got Kenzie and Cannon with their bowls ready to go. We hope you liked this. We hope you enjoyed this cook. If it did help you in any way or you did enjoy this, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us and what we do. And another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions who works closely with Cross Those Missions. And Cross Those Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Cross Those Missions and what they do. We absolutely Absolutely are honored to be a part of who they are and what they do. Brett, we also have a Patreon page. We sure do. Big shout to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much. If you want to find out how you can support us also through Patreon, that information is down below as well. Right. We absolutely love our Patreons. Thank you guys so much for the love and support you give us. Man, this was good. I can't wait to go devour the rest of my bowl. Here we <laughs> go. I'm so excited. That steak is so good. And the steak fried rice, man. It's just one more banger for the for the steak, for the fried rice Yep, another family. one. Another one on the Sierra. There we go, Brett. Aside from coming to knock out this banger, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle, griddle on. on. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my face.